In Naples, food is treated like a religion. Pizza Margherita and dozens of other delicious Italian classics originated in this city. And you cannot deny that people from Naples take the food as a very, very serious topic. Welcome back to Town Travel Tips. In today's video, we take a look at the top 5 foods to try out on your next trip to Naples. Are you new to this channel? Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like the video. Without further ado, let's dive into an ocean of food. The number one classic we have to start with is Pizza Margarita. You're probably familiar with pizza. Whether you prefer deep dish or thin crust pizza, pepperoni or pineapple. The Margarita Pizza, a Neapolitan classic, features just three toppings – basil, mozzarella, and tomato. The creation of the Margarita Pizza is said to have taken place in a small pizzeria on one of the narrow streets of Naples to honor Margarita of Savoy, the country's monarch, and Italy's unity. It featured the colors of the new Italian flag – basil for green, mozzarella for white, and tomato for red. Pizza Margarita is served at its best in Sorbillo, Zia Esterina, and in Da Michele. Number 2. Red Ragu One of Campania's most famous meals, Ragu Napoletano, may best capture the essence of Italian cuisine. It requires patience and love to be made, since different slices of beef are carefully prepared in various ways before being cooked for hours and hours in a rich tomato sauce that is kept at the ideal, slightly boiling temperature. The sauce is utilized to dress fresh homemade pasta, and the meat is kept for a tender, delicious main course. Neapolitan ragu is essentially a beef and tomato sauce that has been simmered for a very long time over a very low flame. Unlike ragu alla bolognese, which begins with a batuto, a mixture of carrot, onion, and celery, Neapolitan ragu uses whole pieces rather than chopped or ground meat. It also contains a lot more tomato sauce. There are several restaurants where you can sample ragu. They include Tandem, Leon de Oro, and Da Carmela. Number 3. Genovese The Genovese is a typical Campanian dish that is particularly well-liked throughout all of Italy. Although the Ligurian city is mentioned in the recipe's name, the dish is not actually from that region. The Genovese ragu sauce is made without tomato sauce, but with a lot of meat and onions, and is ideal for pasta dishes. Long cooking times gives flavor to the onions, which develop into a puree and add a sweet touch to the dish. The Genovese ragu typically pairs with ziti, a local kind of pasta. Let's look into three of the many myths surrounding the creation of this meal. The oldest record of the Genovese dates to the 13th century. The sauce was produced with meat and onions according to the recipe. The second source discusses the travels of sailors during the Aragonese era when the Kingdom of Naples served as the nation's capital. Genovese sailors used to make an onion and beef dish when they made port stops at Naples. This explains the origin of the name of the Genoese sauce that is well known today. The most significant and well-known origin story for this meal is the one involving a famous chef from Naples who is credited with creating it. In the 15th century, this chef worked in one of the top trattorias in Naples, popularly known as O Genoese. Locals get this special delicacy in traditional restaurants such as Locanda Ghe Suvecchio, Tandem, and Luis. Another dessert at number 4, the Baba. Baba al rum are mouth-watering sponge cakes drenched in a syrupy, sticky, alcoholic flavor with notes of citrus. Although Italians frequently associate Baba with Naples, this popular delicacy dates back to the 17th century in the Duchy of Lorraine in Central Europe. The chefs, who had received their training in France and then worked in the kitchens of the affluent households of Naples, 
brought baba to southern Italy in the 19th century. These delightfully sticky brioche buns quickly gained notoriety in the area. Despite their somewhat aristocratic beginnings, baba are now a highly democratic treat that may be seen on Neapolitan tables at all seasons of the year and during special occasions. The best baba in town can be bought at Scaturcio, Di Costanzo, and Papella. And last but not least, the Sfogliatella. Do you enjoy food? Do you have a sweet tooth? A vacation to Naples is not complete without trying the typical sfogliatella. Flaky crust, a bite of fruit, and velvety cream make the sfogliatella the finest when eaten warm and just out of the oven. Sfogliatelle, which is Italian for small leaves, when spelled plurally, is produced by rolling out dough, shaping it into a log, and then clipping the ends. When baked, the layers separate to form flaky leaves. Cream-filled sfogliatelle are topped with fruit and powdered sugar. The real deal when it comes to sfogliatelle? Atanasio, Papella, and La Sfogliatella Mary. There are so many delicious dishes in Naples that naming today's bonus food has been really difficult. But here you go, mozzarella. We said it, fresh, Big, tasty mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella is a dairy product that should be eaten at room temperature for the best flavor and should not be confused with fior de latte, which is prepared using cow milk, whereas mozzarella is created with buffalo milk. As an additional option, there is provola, which is a smoked mozzarella. Caprese is the most famous dish prepared with mozzarella and tomatoes typically served with oil, salt, and basil in Neapolitan and Campanian cuisine. Those were our top picks for cuisine in Naples. Leave a comment down below on other dishes that are worth a try while visiting Naples. And if you haven't already, check below our 48-hour itinerary in Naples for a memorable trip. That's it for today's video. If you liked it, the thumbs up button is what you're looking for and don't forget to click that little bell. Until next time, take care and bye-bye. Ciao!